Hey, Lance, look on outdoors. Uh, I'm on a little tour in the, in the bush to show you uh, what homeless put it um, a specialty Toro tea. We're going to harvest the Toro. In Brazil, they call it acai, but in, in, in Locono language, we know it as, as Toro. Ever since small, it's a, it's a natural flavor tea. It's made from a palm tree, the palm tree. It had a lot of, got a lot of uses. You know, you could, you could use a starch. Here you are, can go and see. Right, we continue. Right, and we are, so what we're going to do as we harvest the Toro, I'm going to set the tree for tokoma worms because we have a moon right now so the, the, the beetle that, that lay the eggs for the tokoma worm will be around so in about three weeks time we'll have tokoma worm so when we're harvesting the worm we'll come back and show you what it looks like we'll show you how we could eat them raw we cook it and make one video so you could see Let, let's go we're, we're on the the outskirts of Spring Creek in a swamp, in a nearby swamp, Toro Swamp. Look at all these young Toro trees. You know, we've got very variable trees, so what we're trying to do is to find a way in devising a way of climbing these trees instead of cutting them down. Because these trees like a coconut tree, the bear, the bear for years. So if, if you can just cut down a tree just to get one bunch of toro, it makes no sense, you know. So we can try to find a way to stop Cutting them down, just lifting the whole tree. There we Toro and I thought to set it to show you how we get a worm but we from now on we swear that this is gonna be the last one that we're gonna take down like this we can devise a way in climbing this tree to to get the fruit which is very precious you know well, let me you can come up to the top of the tree and show you the fruit and how we set for this to come on I'm trying to get close up to me. Yeah, this is it here. This is the acai, Amazon acai, or Turu. This is it here. It's powerful. Yeah. The Amazon acai, they make all kind of shit out of this ice cream, body products, hair products. Yeah, man. Well, we're going to show you, well, we're going to be picking these out and, we, and we're going to show you now how to, how we're going to set for the worm and then we'll get back to you. So now, on this portion of the tree here, we're going to cut a hole and then cover it so that the, the beetle will come and lay so we can get the, the worm. So, we're going to bore this hole now and get this hole. Once you hit the soft heart of the, of the tree, there you see. So all we gotta do now is uh, well, my father always told me you cut the, the groove and you cover it with a leaf. God knows why you cover it with a leaf. So every time I continue, I always. 
coffee to the leaf. I don't know why, but yeah. So we're gonna get back to you while we're making the tea and also when we harvesting the toro. See you in a few. Yeah, welcome back. So we, we just finished up the harvesting and you can take a look. We, we got a good portion on this haul. We got a bucket, we got a bag, and then, and, and then we still got two pieces here to the bunch to fetch back, back to the farm. Where we're gonna show you how this thing is done. Yeah. Well, also, in a survival situation, these toro provide a lot of a lot of nutrients, you know. Um, you, you, all you gotta do is uh, you get you get one of these and you clean it up. Make sure you take out the moss and stuff from it. Yeah, you guys should clean it nice you now, and you put it in your mouth. You hold it here like a labo and it gets soft and you suck out the milky flesh and spit out the seed. So I'm gonna hold this one in here until it gets soft and suck out the seed. All right there. Yeah, welcome back. Well, now we're back at the farm and we're processing the acai to show you how this drink will be done. Over here in this bucket, we got the acai soaking in warm water. The, the water have to be warm that you could handle it. If you put it too hot, it get very hard and it inspire. But when this gets off, it slide off like this. It is fleshy. Is it? all this flesh off. This flesh is easy. It's like a milk. Oh, we're going home. Let me show you now. Transfer some of it into this pot. Well, this evening we'll be having toro tea in all style, hot, warm. If we get somebody to bring in some ice. We have it in eggs. And then we gonna also show you we're gonna cook a piece of rice to cook up with with the, with the, with the toro milk. Because we ain't got coconut milk. So this is the next best thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gotta make a two batch here. We can walk this here for now. And come on again. We gotta put water. So we love it up for now. So we start. Normally, I put a little bit of water together to play. Just level. A little play. I got my, my dal got me here. You see? This thing with the force, you can crush, crush, let some of the skin slide off like this. It's not just going on there. Yeah. In the process. In the water will start getting milky. What is going on there? So we're gonna continue doing this and then we can get back to you when we finish this process and we can try it out and then we can show you when we're putting it into the into the cooker and we can show you the finished product you know but this is the idea we get into a little bit more work to get this done because we gotta beat off all the flesh and then we gotta strain it out 
so we can get back to you shortly. Well, this is the process here. If you notice, we got this nice, creamy. Yeah, see that there? All right, now we can go to the table and we can do the strain out process. You could work your hand, but you got guess, you know. You gotta keep it real. In the Amazon, they put it in this big trough, like a hollow wood, and they, and, and they, they clean the toes and thing, and they march wrong in it, you know. And then I'm done. Everything come off straight off from the nice toe flavor, acai. Camera! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now, but here, we're a little more advanced, you know. And you got this thing called off. A dog got me! Everything here. Eh? Oh, I see here. Eh? I'm just trying on this portion. Oh, so, yeah, what's up? This thing is like a wonder fruit. Energy drinks, shakes, protein shakes with acai. If you look, if you, you watch at the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championships, you see it gets sponsored. That's one of the people that endorse the UFC. Amazon Acai. You know, but a lot of people don't know really what is it. A lot, even the Amerindians that use the, the Acai in all parts of the world don't know the real value. And, and when they learn the real value, this thing here, you know, you can, you, 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 can, you, you can make this a job. You can harvest this thing. In Brazil, they, 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 they do this thing and they dry freeze it and they sell it in package. I can remember at one time, I went, I went to Monfin and I went down home and let him and a, and a guy, he think he was like showing me something new so so he tell me, he said man, I got this thing to show you you know, I said what is it? he said this is a, this is an Amazon drink you know, and um, I show you never had it so he threw this thing out into a big tumbler well, when I look at the color in my mind, he drive me back till back to the childhood days so I said, this thing look like Asahi. No, really, I said it looked like Toro because at that time, I didn't know it, the name Asahi. I just know it's Toro. And I smelled it in my, in my mind. I said, it smell like Toro. Mm. It tastes just like a milk. If you unpotent sugar, just like a normal milk. But no, you just top it up with a little. Or honey and everything. You ain't got to put too much. Hot, cold. To go. Now this same milk we're gonna use to put in the cook up that we're gonna make later down. So we're gonna get back to the part and we're gonna show you when we put on the cook up and when the cook up is finished. And then we're gonna lay out for you a nice outdoor meal using stuff that we just pick up from around the farm in the bush. We even um, we even caught two yarrow while we was at it. So what we're gonna be having is fried yarrow. We got some some half ripe plantains here, already done fried, right? We got we got the, the peas pressure in, and then we're gonna do a thing, you know. So when we get ready to get the cook up on, we can show you how we just do the cook up with the acai milk. So we're gonna get back to you while I feed my face with this. Mmm. This is wonderful. Right here we're putting together a simple vegetarian peas and rice using the acai milk. Uh -huh. and we got some shallot. Uh, fry this up. A little bit of oil. We're not gonna put a stick of butter like the lady does uh, with, with the southern accent on the cooking show. She put everything and a stick of butter. You clap your heart up. <laughs> now, nah. we stir that bad boy up there. 
Maybe get them boys all caramelized. No. In the meantime, you, 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 you wash your rice. Not with brown rice. And it's not some kind of rice. Any kind of rice. It's rice from Alisi. Man for the company. <laughs> See all your washi there? Genial. Well, that is basic. This is a basic thing. You know, you don't know the thing. Right? Chew this bad boy in here. Then fry up. And this cook up is a one whistle cook up. One whistle with the pressure cooker. And we turn that off. And we leave it for 15 minutes. Show is on the road. So this here now, we will fry this in until it gets dry. We can add the peas and the milk. And in the meantime, in the between time, I'm going three cubes of Maggie. Maggie is the thing. Cubes of Maggie. Spice up the tin. If you're vegetarian, you got a vegetarian cubes you can use. You know? Maggie are we making things real good. You know? You know at one time they had this joke. This Rasta guy, by all the football, he always selling by the channel in some big ass bucket. Whole night, China Man hot. Huh? Everybody rushing for China Man. The little guy at the top of the stand keep on China Man, China Man, like a hundred channel. China Man busy selling everybody else. So everybody getting sell so. Masi, you see? It's by you, China Tears Nice. Well, the rest of man, I tell you, he's supposed to use these things. Right? He said, by you, China Tears Nice, Maggie flavor the pot. <laughs> he said, China. Because China Man has to put Maggie for every part of the channel, so everybody's just buying it out. It's a big cost of the time. Yeah, we're going to turn this up. We're going to put the bathroom drying up now. This is just a straight four keys, alright? Me, you know? Vegetables, so we're going to work the fry in a row. And plant things. Put on some sides. This is natural cooking, you know? We're throwing this bad boy, you know? There's a peas, no peas more than rice. That's the way we roll. You know, all of a sudden, man has reached a point in time in life where food turned fashion. It's not so much a sustenance anymore. It's, it's going to eat and junk food, look good. No, KFC, KFC, get your way, man. Bring some chicken. You know, chicken, my ass. This is, this is real shit. You come and cook some natural food. You don't got to be afraid. Organic thing. You know? Now you cooking a cook up. And then you're going to add a packet of coconut milk. Salt. Packing of coconut milk. My Caribbean dreams. Made in Thailand. <laughs> Crazy shit. Because people don't want to grade coconut anymore. Now the assignment. Well, we did one with this cup of rice. We gotta put exactly two cups of this milk. Or one with a cook up. So do this much same. Go, that's it. Now no other liquid I'm gonna go in there. Right? It's bad boy. Start up, you know does that color there? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be there. Now you just lock this bad boy down. Let me get it cover. Okay. 
Fish family, if you're cooking in a cooker with a little set of meat and your vegetables, you will fry up everything first. And you're gonna um, add your water and like them. But we like them full until this is only the fish is different, so yeah. Now if we if we had had the tokumo, we could be using the tokumo for fry up with stuff. And it's an oily thing, you know, you could fry it up, you could even throw some in the pot just like that and just melt them. Give it the oil. So you don't gotta go and use no freaking crown oil and all them nonsense, you know, it's a natural thing. Okay? Because suddenly, you could, you could grate the coconut to make oil, but suddenly, you know, you could go and buy one of this shit. This oil. But then look at this oil. It got a whole lot of other stuff with some fancy freaking name in it, man. You know, sodium OMG. What is the sodium? Oh my God, it's crazy. You know, it, it, it's just nonsense. You know, but I still got it. All right, I don't give up you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now our uh, our acai peas and rice finished, so we can open up and see what it looks like. One whistle and leave for 15 minutes. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, this is perfect. Mm, we get a little bit of it, cuts a little bit. But this. Here's the thing, how if you get pickles? Eating healthy, natural, you know? Here we got these two bad boys here. They are raw. Then we got these uh, great plants here on the side. And you have a meal fit for a thing. Let me get rid of all these plants here. They tend to throw punches. Yeah, leave them too long. But they don't know. We just throw kicks. <laughs> now we punch it. Now we're gonna get some of this. Some of this pickle. Not this, let's try this pickle. <laughs> right in here we got some weary pepper, some lime, some coriander. And then we go deeper. Get the other stuff. Yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna blow it up or that's how you can go with it. We gotta stir this bad boy up. We're looking a little lamb water. And we don't want that, do we? Right now, a A meal fit for a king. Mm -hmm. 
ধরুন পাঁচশো আছেন সিম্পল মিল পাঁচশো আছেন 